Most people are optimistic about their own lives, but pessimistic about the planet. But actually, there's good reason to think that the more progress we make, and the richer we get, the better off the planet will be. For one thing, getting richer leads to fewer babies, which means fewer mouths to feed. Even Africa's birth rate is now falling. Also, farming more intensively leads to cheaper food and fewer acres under the plough, which leaves more land for nature reserves. In 2005, twice as much grain was produced from the same acreage as in 1968. If the yields of the early 60s had been the same in 1998, we would have needed to sacrifice an extra area the size of South America, minus Chile, to feed the world's population. This means, in effect, that intensification has saved 44% of planet Earth for wilderness. Using tractors means not having to grow so much hay for horses. Using fertilizer fixed from the air means not having to grow so much clover or harvest fish for use as fertilizer. Thanks to synthetic nitrates, human beings can enhance the planet's capacity for growing plants, even while they pinch some of it for their own needs. Already large parts of the world that used to be farmed are being reclaimed by forest, especially in Europe and North America. If yields per acre continue to rise in the 21st century, thanks to genetic modification, better irrigation, cheaper fertilizer and more targeted pesticides, then we can turn more and more land back to Mother Nature and still feed all 9.3 billion people that will be living here. A progressive and sustainable future. That's rational optimism.